Hello everybody, it's Joe here and welcome to Train Simulator Classic. Today we are having a look at the brand new Hamburg U1. I say brand new, it was released last week, but unfortunately due to the fact that I was actually in Germany, uh, which we did pay a visit to Hamburg, we didn't have a ride on the U1, but we did pay a visit to Hamburg. It was actually the day we were in Hamburg that the announcement went out. Ta-da! It's released! I was like, oh, fantastic, brilliant, and I can't drive the sodding thing. Uh, but there we are here, we, uh, we are today playing one of the scenarios where we are driving the U1. We're going towards Gross Hans Dorf thingy. Yep, that's brilliant. And we are in the uh, the type. Is it a DT5? Is that the correct name for this train? I'm not entirely sure. But I tell you what, we'll uh, we'll get things fired up straight away. Uh, now this is from Just Trains. There's a link in the description where you can go check this out. Thirty two pounds and ninety nine pence. Heck, nearly choking. But you know, it might be worth it. Some of these add-ons, I mean, this was by the guys that did the Frankfurt U-Bahn, and I was very, very impressed by that. So actually, perhaps £32 is more than justified. We shall uh, we shall see. Oh, we need to confirm the train settings, and by doing that, uh, we get the nice headlights on the front here. I can't spin around and show you. Uh, we will press Control, Shift, and T, which allows us to do the doors properly. There we go, doors to the right, pop them open. Oh, we can actually see everybody jumping on and off. Hello. Oh, I don't like the, I don't like people watching what I'm doing. Can we uh, can we can we put a blind down maybe, or you know put some put some paper up against the window? Wrapping paper that'll be uh, very festive, wouldn't it? Uh, right. What we also need to do now is we need to depart at 7:06. What time is it? 7:04. Heck. Right. Such number. Uh, the train number is zero. Oh, are, you, are you doing it? There we go. Zero one zero. And 706. Now, I don't know if we're going to be doing the full route today. Uh, zeal number is 42. And Fara ID is driver ID. So we will have uh, 504762. Random set of numbers there. There we go. Pop it in. And we should have some announcements now. Uh, now that that's happening, if we have a look on the front of the train, it doesn't work. For some reason, uh, we have to be. Yeah, it won't let us just whiz through look we, we end up going uphill but you can see we've got a destination on the front there oh we've got another train that's arrived look at that <coughs> excuse me so there's quite a lot of ai in this actually uh which is brilliant oh hang on look someone else is coming in now oh there he is oh that's one of the older is that a dt4 i don't have a particularly large knowledge of uh oh yeah it's a dt4 i don't have a lot of knowledge Right, how do we shut the doors? Do they shut on their own? Yes. Right, they shut on their own. Yep, lovely. And away we go. Okay, this is exciting. Yeah, so we're heading... Uh, where are we now? Let me let me just pop the map up on my... Uh, on my on the eye telephone. We're up at Norderstedt Mitte. Uh, so that's on the uh, the kind of the, the northwest side. If you... Oh, we've got announcements. Look, look at that. Oh, this is brilliant. I'm really enjoying myself already. I mean, most of this is kind of underground, because it's a U-Bahn. So, you know, you, you kind of expect most of it to be underground, which is fine. But it does kind of really bring me back to my days of... Uh, oh, hang on, we're, we're popping outside now for a spell. Oh, 80. Let's, uh, let's get his foot down. Yeah, the, uh, it really brings me back to my Berlin U-Bahn days from Microsoft Train Simulator. I used to spend hours racing up and down on the U-2 and the U-8 line. Uh, from, well, in Berlin. So it's really, really nice to have another U-Bahn line where you, you kind of get that feeling. I mean, I know that Hamburg U-Bahn is... Uh, not Hamburg, sorry, Frankfurt U-Bahn is available and has been for a good many years now. But I didn't kind of... I felt more like a tram driver on a lot of that. Like a high-speed tram driver than I did kind of anything else. So this is really, really nice to have like a proper U-Bahn train. Let's do a bit of braking because we actually want to stop in the station, don't we? I don't know kind of what the laws are regarding your braking here. Um, I know that the guy from Just Trains, I was watching, uh, not Just Trains, sorry, Train Sim TV, I was watching this while we were away, uh, which was why I didn't want to do one of the other scenarios that came with, because he already did it. Oh, there we go, another DT4. Yeah, he said the braking can take a bit of time to get used to. Nope, wrong one. There we go, that opens the doors. And there we have it, that is our train. Let's, uh, let's get a bit of a... Ah, lovely, look at that. 
So this is the DT5, the newest type. That's the DT4. And apparently the DT4 is undrivable at this moment in time. You can't drive it. But later, a free update will be coming where you will be able to drive it. So that is great, isn't it? Absolutely fantastic. Uh, we also hear on the, on the doodars... Oh, get them doors shut. Lovely. This apparently changes at every station. So this is the actual station we're at now. <coughs> There's a lot of exciting things happening here. A lot of exciting things. And I can thoroughly recommend that. We've got a... Is that a yellow signal? I don't know. There we go. We'll just get our foot down and whoosh, off we go. I can't believe we're a nine car unit as well. When we were in Hamburg, we only saw six cars. But maybe that's because, I mean, this is 7.08 in the morning. Oh, we're going downhill. We'll, uh, we'll have a little bit of braking. We're going back underground. Whoosh, there we go. A bit more coasting, that'll do. Oh, yeah, I mean, already I've driven two stations. I've literally not driven this at all. Uh, the, the setting... Oh, another train. Setting the train up was literally done uh, from memory of watching Trenton TVs video. And perhaps we don't need to start slowing down just yet for that. There we go. We'll get used to these brakes. We'll be flying in and out of these stations before we know it. I mean, U-Bahn trains in general, we spent quite a bit of time this week on the Berlin U-Bahn. It's very, um, you know, they're very jerky, aren't they? They're not there for passenger comfort. They're there to get you about as quick as possible. There we go. Oh, we've got a green signal, so that's good. Can we open the doors whilst on the move? Because that does occasionally happen with uh, with U-Bahn trains. <coughs> there you go. So you'll notice we were outside. We're now inside because this is our camera. Uh, it doesn't actually show us on the move, I don't think. Uh, or it certainly hasn't up to this point. But, uh, but yeah, we get a different underground view. Oh, hang on. Shut the doors. What does L do? I don't know. It's not pressable. Doors are shut, and away we go. They do sound like the uh, the Statlers. Oh, what's this? Oh, I keep thinking they're signals, they're not, are they? You've seen the signal. It was green. Are oh, we going back outside again? Hey, you're in and out more often than uh, than. Yeah, I don't know what. Back outside again. We're going back in another tunnel. Oh no, this is just a bridge. Okay, we'll let them off. Yeah, so we were in, uh, we actually went to stay for, in Berlin. It's a fantastic city, it's Berlin. I mean, you'll know if you've kept up with the channel these past couple of years how often we go to Berlin. We love it, it's a brilliant city. If you're a transport lover, give them a wave. If you're a transport lover, you will love Berlin. I, I just categorically confirm you will love Berlin. There's no ifs or buts about it. The transport is fantastic. Um, however, we did want to, I've always wanted to go to Miniature Wonderland. Always wanted to go there. Wow. What a place. And of course, Miniature Wonderland is in Hamburg. So, uh, yeah, we had to take an ICE train over to uh, to Hamburg for Miniature Wonderland. And uh, we were only there for the day, uh, Miniature Wonderland, most of it. So we only really saw a little bit of Hamburg. But uh, it's definitely a city that I really want to go back to. Particularly now that we can drive this train on this line. It really just makes me want to visit here more. Because when you've been able to drive something on train sim, you want to go see it in real life, don't you? Because you're like, wow, I've driven this. Brilliant. It's kind of a bit sad, really, but uh, but there we go. Let's get a bit more braking. Yeah, 50% should be fine. I say should. He then puts more braking in. Can we open them? We can open them on the move. That's brilliant. I like it. We found in Berlin that... Uh, oh, and not all the doors have opened. Look. So the, the doors just kind of shut themselves as and when. <coughs> Excuse me. Maybe I'm a little bit far down the platform for those doors. There we go. We'll, we'll get a bit of tea. Get them doors shut. This screen's a little bit bright. I don't know. Can we can we turn that down? Can we turn the brightness down? No. You can you can do all kinds of kinds of quirky things in here with the menu, but we're not going to bother because uh, we don't really need to, do we? Next stop, Kivitzmoor. Kivitzmoor, sorry, I forget the W is a V in German, isn't it, technically? So it's pronounced as a V. 
There's a lot of uh, a lot of turnback sidings down here, and after practically every station, there's uh, there's a load of turnback sidings, which is really good to see. I love that about the uh, the U bahns, the fact that you can more or less turn them around anywhere, can't you? Really frequent service coming the other way as well. Uh, so yeah, apparently the U1 is one of the longest U-Bahn lines, if not the longest U-Bahn line, in Germany. Uh, I read it as in the world, so I could tell you, yeah, the U1 is the longest U-Bahn line in the world. Factually incorrect, of course, but it sounds good, doesn't it? Bit of clickbait. But yeah, I believe this is the longest U-Bahn line in Germany, which is very exciting. Certainly the longest one in Hamburg. Let's not stop past the sign that says you can't walk past here. There we go. Well, uh, are we actually on the platform? Yeah, we are, just about. They fit perfectly, don't they, a nine car? Lovely. It's a really, really nice place to be as well. If you if you actually look at the, at the, we'll call it the cockpit. We've got no, kind of, the chair's a bit weird there. That might just be my field of vision. I'm going to get them shut. But, uh, but yeah, it's just a really... Nice place, isn't it? I don't know who builds these trains. Uh, they sound like the Statler. Maybe they're not. Maybe they're are they Bombardier. Maybe. I don't know. It doesn't say anywhere. It'll say somewhere in here that's like glaringly obvious, and I'm missing it. Um, right, hang on. We might need to do some research before the next station. There we go. Come on, foot down. Uh, ah, so it was it was built by Alstom and Bombardier, who is now Alstom anyway. So there we go. Uh, yeah, I, I thought it'd be Statler because the traction motors sound very similar to the Statler trams. No, not Statler trams. Uh, the Statler, the new Statler U-bahns that they have in Germany in Berlin. That's the one. Berlin. They sound very similar, but they also sound like the Bombardier Flexity trams. So you know that that kind of maybe it's just the same traction motor. It kind of has a kind of hissing sound, doesn't it? It's really kind of a weird sound, really, but I quite like it. But yeah, the, you know, everything's fairly basic in here, isn't it? It's just, it's not unpleasant. You are literally right at the front of the train, though, aren't you? There's absolutely no collision space if you did crash. No, uh, no, what's it called? Crumple zone. Oh, it's one of these island platforms again. DT4 over there. Yeah, it's really, really good that you're going to get another uh, bit of stock to drive. Oh, DT falls off. I know we've got some sharp braking, haven't we? But it is an underground train. I want to open these doors while we're on the move again. Oh, no, the click spot didn't work. Damn it. <laughs> Never mind. Oh, we'll have to do it again at some point, won't we? I don't know how far we're actually going to drive on this, because the full route is 90 minutes in length, which is probably a little bit long for a video, isn't it? I don't know if I can talk for 90 minutes continually. Who are we kidding? Of course I can talk for 90 minutes continually. Right, hang on, get them doors shut. <coughs> Excuse me. You don't seem to kind of get any interlock light, you just kind of go. There we go, we'll, we'll kind of 50% to 5 kilometres an hour and then we'll... we'll full throttle it from there. You've got a good view though if you want to just look out the front and not look at your speed. But yeah, so far I'm absolutely loving this. We're, we're going to absolutely have a bit more of this. I think I prefer the, the bits where you're racing through the underground of the capital. These bits where you're outside, I don't really love them as much because you just kind of feel a bit... It feels slower, doesn't it, when you're outside? But when you're underground and you're in a, a really confined tightly packed tunnel. You feel like you're flying, you know, you're absolutely racing through the tunnels. But like I say, when you're outside you're just kind of, meh, plodding along. It's more like an S-Bahn train this section, isn't it, than, uh, than anything else. But yeah, get it on your Christmas list, guys. Ask Santa to bring you, uh, to bring you the U-Bahn U1 if you're a train sim fanatic, because it's brilliant. I'm having a whale of a time. Little whistle. There we go. Right, let's see if we can open the doors on the move. Go! Aha! It did it. Brilliant. 
<laughs> I love it. It's just something you couldn't even comprehend in this country, isn't it? Like, the doors opening while the train's still moving. Admittedly, the doors don't open while you're doing, you know, 90 kilometres an hour. Partly because you can't do 90 kilometres an hour in these things. But, you know, you're not racing along when the doors open. It's more like when you're at under 5 kilometres an hour. Just a speed up boarding and alighting, really. Off we go. I've kind of not checked at all these cameras because they don't work, do they? But, uh... Hey ho. Langenhorn marked. So we're in a little suburb called Langenhorn, I'd imagine, because the last stop was Langenhorn Nord. Fulsbuttel Nord, which of course is Fulsbuttel North, if you're not uh, if you're not too familiar with the German. Pretty easy to work out, really, isn't it? Oh, we're racing, but it, it's making a louder noise. What's happening? Something happening? I feel like something's happening. Ah, oh, listen to that, it's absolutely screaming. It sounded like a plane was going overhead, didn't it really? I don't know kind of where Hamburg Airport is in, in projection to where we are now. Oh, this was not a good station, Joe. This was not a good stop. You've done better. What time are we actually due out of here? 7.20? Oh, we're kind of on track then. There we go. Doors are open. I mean, that was, yeah, that was pretty good at the end. Hochbahn. Hochbahn, of course, being the company that runs all the, uh, all the public transport in Hamburg. Of course, they run the buses as well. You might have recognised uh, Hochbahn from when we played OMSI 2 ad on Hamburg, which, of course, we are going to revisit because uh, I've kind of got the Hamburg bug now. Really want to really wanna just drive more Hamburg. Visit Hamburg. I want to do that. So that might be on the 2023 trips. Uh, we did actually mean on our little trip to take the video camera. The video camera? How old do I sound? To take the GoPro um, so that uh, we could do some recording. Okay, so we're obviously in Fuelsbüttel now, because we're between Nord and Fuelsbüttel. Uh, yeah, we did want to take the GoPro so that we could do some filming, so that, uh, I mean, it would be more kind of a Joe's Adventures Abroad. Uh, but unfortunately, uh, my other half forgot the camera. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, turned out we, we didn't do any recording at all. But I thought in terms of transport, you guys might have liked to have seen that. Uh, do, of course, let me know in the comments if that is something that you would like to see. Because, uh, you know, we, we do go on quite a few transport-related trips, don't we? Uh, so it would be really, really nice if you could, if you want to see that, that we'll, we'll share it with you. We'll do more videos on stuff like that. Fuelsbüttel. That'll do, that'll do. That is a good stop. Just leave it like that. We're fully accommodated, aren't we? Brilliant. Fuels Buttle, we leave at 22 minutes past. So far, we've got ticks for all these stations. That is brilliant to see. I'm hoping that at some point we're going to get some more underground. We're kind of... Uh, we've got Klein Borstel, which is small Borstel. Uh, Ulsdorf, Sigmundstrasse, Alsterdorf, Lattenkamp. Sounds like somewhere I'd fit right in. Um, I can't even work out how you pronounce that place after Latin camp, but I'm sure we'll get there. The woman on the uh, on the on the announcement, she'll tell us, won't she? Oh, what's happening down here? You also have a, a funky little, you know, you can see out the back cab there. You can, you know, there's a couple of views. Oh my God, what's happened there? Let's just go back in here because he's frightening. Climb Borstel. There we go, we'll have a bit of breaking now. 40%, 50%, let's get some 50% breaking in. I feel that's, uh, yeah, I think, I think more breaking is required. I guess on a six car you can just kind of stop anyway, can't you? They don't seem to, oh, there we go, three car, four car, six car, eight car. Oh no, H, sorry, that's uh, that's just Halt, isn't it? Halt Bremse. There we go, brilliant. Doors open. Yes, yeah, so we do actually have stopping boards. They're normally down there. I forget that from uh, 
But yeah, the, the stop boards are down here. So I've got to keep a lookout for them, haven't I, at the stations? Because at the moment, with it being a nine car, I'm just razzing it to the end of the platform and, uh, and kind of hoping for the best. But yeah, you must be aware, Joe, of your, uh, of your doodars over there. Close the doors. Weird as well that the, uh, the the throttle handle is on this side. In a lot of, uh, well, in a lot of traction, the throttle handle's over here, isn't it? Which is brilliant, because I'm left-handed. So I, I love it. But yeah, if you're right-handed, you're going to love this unit. Nope, another one going the other way. Give them a little wave. All nine cars, aren't they? I wonder why they were only six cars when we visited. Oh, so you change here for the S Eins. Oh, so you get the announcements in English as well because you change here for the airport. They do that in Berlin as well. If you change him for the airport, they, they tend to do it in German and English. So you change here for the S1, of course, you'll see up there, you might have just clocked it, that we do actually have uh, an S-Bahn train over there. There is AI S-Bahn stock included as well. So, I mean, how many trains are we up to now? Uh, we've got this one, two, three, four. I think you've got five different types of train included. Uh, this one is the only drivable one, of course, for now. But yeah, it's really, really good that your S-Bahn's included over there, look. They've really gone above and beyond. It, it really puts a lot of dovetail add-ons to shame, this, because of just how much stuff you get with it. And the fact that there's going to be free updates in the future. I mean, right, there we go. We'll, we'll leave you there. What an awful platform, though. Kind of a snake. There we go, look. Got the S1 over there to pop and bootle. Oh, that goes through Houtbahn off, because we saw some of them. I think they look like 323s. Just at the front, they, they kind of remind me of 323s a little bit. A three car units, aren't they? So that'll be a six car. Yeah, they, they just kind of look. Oh, that's going to the airport at that end. They've not changed the destination display. Okay. Right, so this is an important station then, Oldsdorf, obviously, if, uh, if we connect. Got a little bit of standing time as well. Okay. We've got the doors open. Are they actually open? No. Have I not opened them? No. Okay, that's a bit naff. For some reason, none of the doors have opened. Don't know why. Oh, there's a train going. Okay, love it. Right, are we are we carrying on now? I'm I'm excited to carry on. Let's uh, let's make it happen. Make it so. So, of course, further down here we actually connect with the U-Bahn as well, I think. Is it the U-2? The yellow one? No, the yellow line is the U-3. Right, we're shutting the doors because we're more or less there. You said depart at 7.25. Oh, he's going. Oh, no, he's arriving. Old stuff. 7.25, let's go. Come on. None of the doors have opened and I'm not quite sure why. I mean, it's registered. Oh, hello. Right, we're just going then, because I mean, I'm not being funny, but we, we have stopped. That's going to come up that we haven't, isn't it? Only 50 down here. Remember that. Oh, we got a tick. Oh, okay. Zingelmann, Zingelmann Strasse. Brilliant. Strasse, of course, been German for street. Okay, it's quite easy to work out, isn't it? You might not need uh, Joe Translate here working away. Zingelmann Strasse. Right, we're flying down here, aren't we? Alsterdorf. I seem to remember that. You Alsterdorf? Is that, um, that might be a, a Berlin thing. It just seems that that name, Alsterdorf, seems to ring a bell. I don't know why it would, but, uh, but it, it does. It's actually very intense driving a U-Bahn train, isn't it? Because you've got all the things to consider, like stopping and starting, but then of course, because it's driver-only operation, you've got your platforms and all this, and then you, you know, you, you really, 
I don't think enough appreciation is shown to, to people like you, Barn and underground drivers that, that have all this, because I know some of them are ATO, and that obviously takes the pressure off the driver a little bit. But, like, making sure you stop there, yeah, that's good. Making sure your doors are open, watching your cameras, yeah, they don't necessarily work. Oh, is all this broken now? <coughs> yeah, right, that's good. Get it shut. Ready. I'm late now. This is going to get cross. Yeah. So because of that at Allsdorf, and it not telling me when to shut the doors, then that's cross now. So we're uh, excellent. Right, okay. Ah, oh, we failed the scenario. Flipping heck. But you know, all of that. Open doors, closed doors, what, make sure we don't drag anyone to the death. All the speed limits, all this, that and the other. It's just very intense, isn't it? And all this while you've been watched by that lot in there. Right, well, timings have sort of gone out the window now. We just kind of come and go as we please, don't we? Oh, we've, we've gone way past the, the stop marker. Oh, no. It's all going to part... Get them doors open. But not these front ones. Yeah, don't open them. Yeah, it's it's a long train short platform, this, folks. You need to be in the next coach. Yep, yeah, sorry, everybody. Oh, they're not used to this level of uh, messing about. There we go. Get them shut. Everyone's had long enough. We're late. I'm sorry. All right, next stop. Oh, it's Joe's station. Letting Kemp. Latin camp, not Latin camp. I thought it might be, but I guess there's no umlaut, out, is there? So, uh, yeah, Latin camp. Yeah, I mean, it, it has to be said. We tend to, we seem to be spending more time above the ground than actually under it, which does make for a very interesting route. You know, the level of detail that's gone into this is incredible, really, when you think about it. Um, but yeah, we do seem to... Oh, is that a, that is a main line? Or is it a pylon? Never too sure. There we go, we'll come down to 60. The sounds are brilliant. The unit is great to drive. I mean, I'm just using a keyboard here. I don't have any of these fancy little uh, rail driver or, uh, or TS controllers. I don't have any of that. So yeah, just using a keyboard, but it's absolutely brilliant to drive. Just Trains have really done a good job with this, all the, sorry, the, the third party producers at Just Trains, because I don't think it's actually Just Trains that make it, I think they just published it. But yeah, the guys that made this, absolutely brilliant. Uh, they did very kindly send me a key actually, which I should have mentioned. Uh, they did send me a key for this, and I'm not just saying it's brilliant because they sent me a key. It genuinely is, I'm gonna, we're gonna come back to this, I mean, we're hitting the 30 minute mark now, which was all I was gonna do on this. Uh, anyway, but I think what we might do is we might drive down to uh, all the way down to Kellinghusenstrasse because I need to see what this Hud Hudvalka Hudvalkastrasse I think it is. I'm not too sure. The, the German people will be sat with their head in their hands now uh, if there is anyone from Germany watching this. So my apologies for butchering your language and your pronunciation. Hudvalkastrasse. Hudvelkestrasse. I don't know if it's a silent T. Hudvelkestrasse. There we go. I, oh, I didn't do too badly, did I? I've said worse things. Yeah, I want to get to Killinghusenstrasse, which is the one after Hudvelkestrasse, because uh, we're going to overshoot this platform again. Flipping heck. Oh, Joe, you blithering idiot. 100% braking. Come on. Yeah, we, we weren't due to call here. Yeah, there we go. No, we, we, weren't, we never were. Sorry, everybody. I was too excited by Hootvalkestrasse. And I cocked the whole thing up. Yeah, okay. Well, uh, we will actually have a video where we do it sensibly. I mean, I thought this was sensibly until that happened. Uh, but yeah, we'll have a video where I'm actually, you know, we'll do the full length. Maybe on a live stream or something. Just a short little 90 minute live stream. That'd be quite nice, wouldn't it? Okay, we'll do that at some point. Maybe next weekend. 
Oh, it's my birthday next weekend. Perhaps not. We'll, we'll, we'll sort something. We'll sort something. Um, but yeah, uh, maybe we will. I don't know. I don't have that much of a social life that I think I'd have a party. So yeah, maybe I'll do a live stream. We'll see. We'll see. Keep an eye on the Discord if you haven't already joined that uh, because updates will be published through there. And of course you'll see it through YouTube anyway if you're a subscriber. But here we go. Kellinghuse Strasse. This is where we match up with the U3. Which I think you can see that over there. Yep, yeah, there's another another unit over there. Alright, we'll open on the right this time because of course the doors have changed. It's very dark, isn't it? I, I thought it would be lighter. There we go, we'll have a, uh, a, a screenshot there. But yeah, that is where we're going to leave it for today. We'll definitely come back to this, because like I say, I'm having a whale of a time. Oh, he's off on the U3, look, there he goes. So there must be another one over here. Brilliant. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's where we're going to leave it. If you have enjoyed today's video, please do show your appreciation by clicking that like button. Do also subscribe if you're enjoying this, or you have enjoyed this, because we're going to come back to it. Because, again... Absolutely fantastic. There's a link in the description. Make sure you add it to your wish list or go and buy it now. It's an instruction. It's actually an instruction. If you have the funds to do so, buy it now. You won't be disappointed. Other than that, as I say, thank you so, so much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed the video and hopefully I'll see you all next time. Cheerio! Goodbye for now.